Yo, what's going on guys? This is Tyler and today I'm going to be doing a video on my top 5 uh, favorite Xbox 360 games. Alright, coming in at number 1 is Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is pretty much the western version of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, it's made by Rockstar, it's open world, um, and it's just really, it's a really fun game. Uh, it's not just fun, you know, playing the campaign or whatnot, but it's also really, really fun playing with friends uh, and exploring the open world and kind of just being cowboys together. Um, it's a very fun game. It is not expensive anymore. Uh, now that the Xbox One is out, uh, I believe it is around $15, so um, it's not too expensive. Uh, plus, there's the Undead Nightmare that you can also get, and uh, that's fun as well, but... uh yeah, you should definitely check it out if you have never played Red Dead Redemption. Coming in at number 2, we have Black Ops 2. Uh, the only reason Black Ops 2 is my favorite is because I've put the most time into playing Black Ops 2. Um, my favorite Call of Duty of all time, um, with memories and whatnot, would be World at War. But uh, Black Ops 2, I put more time into it. I played everything. I played the campaign, I played multiplayer, I played zombies, um, and I played a lot of everything. So, um, definitely a lot of memories on Black Ops 2, and my most played Call of Duty, so uh, that's why it's number two on the list. Coming in at number three is Fallout 3. Uh, the reason Fallout 3 is on my list is because this game is absolutely amazing. If you are a fan of adventure games, uh, you know, open world, just exploring, um, going up into all the buildings and just searching and uh, looting everything. This game is definitely for you. It is not for not for the most casual gamers. It is very um, it's very difficult. It is a very difficult game. And uh, if you don't know what the storyline is, you can look into that. And Fallout 4 is coming out um, here soon. And uh, brand new. If you want to buy this game brand new, it is $14 at pretty much any retail store um, for the Game of the Year edition, which comes with all the DLC. So the price plus the game, it just makes it a great, great uh, addition to your collection. So uh, definitely go check it out if you haven't already. Coming in at number four is a Borderlands 2. Uh, another shoot and loot type of game. Um, it's a sequel, and it is definitely one of the best sequels I have ever played. Um... Borderlands 2 and Fable 2 are probably some of my favorite sequels. Um, not very many people like Fable uh, or Fable 2 at that, uh, but Fable 2 and Borderlands 2 pretty much tied. I don't have Fable 2 on disc, but they're pretty much tied for my favorite number 4. Um, I haven't really put as much time into Borderlands 2 as I wanted, um, but I can still definitely go back and play it. Um, but yeah, Borderlands 2 is a great game. I got it for like $8 at GameStop, so definitely definitely check it out if you haven't already. Number 5. This is the last game, and it is probably one of the most random games you probably have ever seen on a top 5. And this game is not well-reviewed. Uh, not, not many diehard fans enjoyed this game, but I surely did. I enjoyed playing Wolfenstein. I played the original Wolfenstein, you know, like the really pixelated one, um, way back when. Uh, it was on the arcade for the Xbox, and I played it, but I just recently picked this up. It was for $11, and I didn't think I was going to really enjoy it. It was a buy two, get one free deal at GameStop, and I decided to get this one for free. And I can honestly say, I mean, it made it on my top five list. It it made it on my top five list uh, because it's just it's really great now honorable mentions I have to mention Halo 3 is my all-time favorite game um, of all time you know I, I had the most memories on it it's mainly because of memories that's my memories were on Halo 3 uh, it doesn't it doesn't even have to be a good game but my memories of the game you know playing with friends and stuff that is what made Halo 3, my all-time favorite game, like, in time. Uh, it's not on my top five list, just for the fact that I don't go back and play it that often. Uh, I played on the Master Chief Collection, but I don't play the actual game Halo 3. I, I 
don't... <laughs> I don't really. I played on the Master Chief Collection, but I'm not going to add the Master Chief Collection and my top five Xbox 360s. But Halo 3 is my all-time favorite game in time. Um, but it's not on the list because I don't play it to this day uh, as on my 360. I don't... I played Red Dead Redemption like a week ago. I played Fallout 3 two days ago. Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 2 uh, a couple days ago. Borderlands. All of these I've played a couple days ago, but I haven't put Halo 3 in my Xbox in months. So it's not in my top five. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my top five list for Xbox 360 games. Uh, I know this is controversial, like a very controversial video to make because a lot of people don't agree with my top fives. Um, but. I did add a Call of Duty in there uh, because I used to be and still am a little bit a uh, diehard Call of Duty fan. Not that much anymore <laughs> since they keep coming out with so many and not really making them well. Uh, but the rest of them, most of them are shooting loot games. Uh, Fallout 3, Borderlands 2, and Wolfenstein are kind of shooting loot. Uh, Wolfenstein has a little more like mission based type stuff uh, rather than quests. Red Dead Redemption, just a great game. Uh, but yeah, that was my top five. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, sorry if you guys don't agree with them, uh, but these this was my opinion, and yeah. Uh, let me know if you want to see more, if you want to see my entire collection of games. Uh, I can do that. I also have a pretty, pretty good amount of movies, uh, so I can show you my movie collection and do like top 10, top 15 movies of all time. Uh, so if you guys want to see some more top 5s, top 10s, top 15s, uh, let me know and I can definitely do them. But uh, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. All of these games were fairly cheap at GameStop. Uh, so if you want to try them out, if you haven't already, definitely go uh, try to find them at GameStop. Because they are, I, I don't even, I think Black Ops 2 may be the only one that is above $20 at GameStop. So definitely go check these games out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Tyler, I'll see you guys later. Peace.